So I've done a couple episodes on my personal cylinder heads because we it was actually the first set we were going to get digitized and I was pretty excited about that but when they came back they weren't right. What wasn't right about them was that the uh, the exhaust port was elongated. So originally we thought it was because it was a set of boss heads so I sent out my the heads that were actually on the car originally and we had the same result. Because you see here the exhaust port is not round. It is longer right here, so it's elongated. And this port actually comes out, usually it's round. Whenever we hand port it, it is round, and that is not what we got. So now we have to make it round by hand. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do to save these heads and my boss heads, but we're gonna go back to the drawing board and redigitize the cylinder head that we originally started with. That's another story for another time. Right now, we're just going to do just the blending on these. Mind you, I know that there's people that would just send this stuff out. They would just CNC it, call it CNC. They don't really care how the port looks. And uh, that even if it's for their own car and they would say, oh, it's done. But that's not a head game staying. We, we're not going to make the port bigger just to make it bigger. I'm trying to make it better and I'm also trying to make it clean up. So when you pay that kind of money, you want to see it mostly cleaned up. But we don't want to blend all of these by hand. And I'm sure that the port is not supposed to be oblong because I didn't do that to begin with. So now we're just going to blend it and you can follow along. For porting this, I'm not going to do the uh, anything radical. I'm using the Head Games 3 8 double cut burr because I'm not really trying to make it bigger. I'm just trying to clean it up. I'm trying to blend everything and I don't want to just make it as I said, I just don't want to make it big. I just want to blend. So we're going to do the Head Games 3 8 spur on the Makita electric grinder. Before I start on the intake port, I just want to show you that a lot of people say CNC's are more accurate. Well, we're also dealing with an inaccurate part. And I want you to see how different each port is. If it was actually more accurate, all these would be the same, correct? But sadly, it's not, and I have to blend them all in. So I'm going to switch it over to a Head Games half inch, then go back over it with the 3 8 spur because these are actually not even the size. Alright, so now the intake ports are ready to rock and I, I'm pretty happy I didn't have to do so much to this head. Now, as I said, everybody thinks that these cylinder heads, whenever they go through a CNC, they're just going to come out done ready to rock or it's something that the CNC machine operator or whatever did. 
It's not. It's a casting. These things suck and you're never going to get anything that is perfect out of a CNC. So I don't know how often I hear a lot of people say they want a surface finish that is like a, a mirror or whatever it is. They, they just feel like they need to sand the crap out of the cylinder head. And I'm showing you here, even on my own cylinder heads, I'm going to be honest, like I don't really like the look of the 3 8 burr uh, without sanding it, but is all that time that I would spend sanding it worth the effort? And I'm going to say no. It's not worth any of the effort. Would it make me feel better? Sure, it makes me feel better inside to know that because I can sand and I can and I can sand it very well and I can do to a 60 grit, would it be worth the time? And, and no, it's not. So we're not going to do that. We are going to leave it just the way it is and keep it moving. I don't know how often I hear people say that a CNC makes it more accurate or I want to see the CNC port. As you can see, even on my own cylinder heads, even with all the due diligence of trying to make the port correct from the get go, it just doesn't happen. It's because you're dealing with a casting and the casting, there really, there is no accurate casting. So you have an accurate machine, but you don't have an accurate part to machine. Uh, like you're machining an inaccurate part. So you really are not comparing an apple to an apple. You're comparing an apple to like a, uh, I'm going to say a turd because like a turd's just mushy. And that's what you got here. You're like, you never know what you're going to get. Everyone's a snowflake. So now it's time for guides and valve job. I hope you guys like, subscribe, comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Toodles.